स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स सी वॉट इज लेप्रेसी लेप्रेसी और द हैंसिल डिसीज वॉज फर्स्ट डिस्क्राइब इन द एशियंट इंडियन गोइंग बैक टू द सिक्सथ सेंचुरी बी सी इट इज वेरी ओल्ड डिसीज Gerhard Ermauer Hansen in 1874 was first describe a causative organism that is to uh, mycobacterium leprae it is chronic non fatal infectious disease affecting mainly the cooler part of body which are the cooler parts of body that are skin mouth respiratory tract eyes peripheral nerves superficial lymph nodes testes are the cooler part of but mostly the skins and the nerves are mostly involved in the bacterium endothelial colonization or by bacillary filtered from blood reticular endothelial system other organs such as liver spleen bone marrow regional lymph nodes are also involved the causative organisms the disease is caused by a mycobacterium leprae mycobacterium leprae which is less acid fast the organism is in the tissue appears as compact rounded mass that we call globi or the arranged in the parallel fashion like cigarette in the pack you have all of seen the cigarette pack that here you know, the organism is parallelly arranged mycobacterium leprae can be demonstrated in the tissues section in split hmm? uh, then uh, split skin smear by the splitting of the skin when the smear when the skin is to be split hmm, then the mycobacterium or this smear or the uh, causative agent we can see in that the scarping from the cut edge of the dermis in the dermis layer we can also see the causative organism in the nasal smear hmm? let's see what are the techniques to introduce or to see the uh, mycobacterium leprae acid fast staining that we called zeal nelson staining in which the staining produce it can be discolorized decolorized by lower concentration that is 5% of the sulfuric acid less acid fast second word is fight ferraco staining procedure which is modification of zeal nelson then next one is gomori methanamine silver staining can also be employed let's see what are the mode of transmission what is the mode of transmission of the leprosy leprosy is lower communicable disease and incubation period between the first exposure and the appearance of the signs and signs of the disease varies from 2 to 20 years but averagely we can say that it would be the 3 years the infectivity may be from the following sources what are the sources by which the transmission of that organism can be happen that a contact direct contact to the person of the leprosy which should be prohibited next maternal fetal transmissions by the placenta across placenta crossing then transmission from the milk of the leprosy and the patients to the infants immunology of the leprosy let's see what is the immunology of the leprosy the immune response in the leprosy is a t cell mediated delayed hypersensitivity type 4 reaction mycobacterium leprae damage to the tissue is immune mediated this is due to following peculiar aspect is immunology of the leprosy the first one is antigen of the leprosy bacilli lepra bacilli have several antigen the bacterial cell wall contain large amount of m leprae specific phen phenolic glycopid that is pgl1 and the another surface antigen lipoarabinoman lamn let's see this antigen of the bacilli determines the immune reaction of the host that is lymphocytes macrophages next one 
Another unique feature of the leprosy bacilli that is invasion in the peripheral nerves is due to the binding of trisaccharides of mycobacterium lepri to the basal lamina of swan cell. Swan cells are the specific cell present in the humans. Next one is genotype of the host. Specific genotype conditions we can be uh, seen in the host and in the antigen antigen that is known as MHC class or the HLA class HLA type that we have seen in the uh, previous lectures according to the host response of the leprosy bacilli is different in individual it is variable to uh, in the various patients it is variable according to the patient and third one is T cell response there is the variation in the T cell response is different individual infect the with the leprosy bacilli here we can see the CD4 T cell is mostly involved and so the CD4 T cell in the lepra bacilli infect persons act or not only as a helper and the promoter cell but also assume the role of cytotoxicity. The two subpopulation, the two subpopulations of CD4 T cell or the T helper cell that is TH1 that is T helper cell 1 and T helper cell 2 elaborate the differentiate types of cytokines in the response to the stimuli from the lepra bacilli and the macrophages. Third one is the tuberculoid leprosy the response in the largely by CD4 T cell while in the lepromatous leprosy according to their axis of the CD4 8 cell, CD4 8 cell that is T suppressor cell but the macrophages and the suppressor T cell fails to destroy the bacilli due to CD8 positive cell that cell defects by the CD4 8 cell defect. Next one the humoral response. Humoral response we can see like uh, high immunoglobins like IgG, IgA, IgM and the antibody to the mycobacterium antigen but these antibodies do not have any protective role against the leprobacilli. Let's see what are the classifications of the leprosy. Leprosy mainly classified into two types. First one is lepromatous type representing low resistance and tubercular type presenting high resistance and which uh, leprosy type which uh, is not which are not included in the low resistance or the high resistance which are included in the borderline or intermediate type. The leprosy is classified into five clinical pathologic groups modified by Riddle and Joplin's classification. Riddle's and Joplin's classifications. Other types of uh, clinical pathologic groups of leprosy are as TT which is tuberculoid polar that is high resistance BT borderline tuberculoid BB mid borderline that is dimorphic BL borderline lepromatous LL lepromatous polar which is low resistance. What are the risk factors for the leprosy? Risk factors for the leprosy are as close contact with the patient that is uh, endemic where the leprosy is more prominent where the area is more prominent then the genetic influence genetic influence which is a genetic defect in uh, chromosome 6 then another is armadillo exposure armadillo exposure that is the animal that is the small animal which is seen in the image what are the clinical features then Clinical features are skin lesions, usually anesthetic, hypopigmented, erythromatous patches, complete partial loss of the sensations, painless wounds or burn on the hands or the feet, paresthesia, tingling or the numbness in the hands or the feet, diminishes sensation or loss of the sensation with the skin patches, thickening of peripheral nerves lumps or the swelling on the ear lobes of the faces then tender enlargement peripheral nerves 
what are the diagnosis for the leprosy by the clinical presentation which we have seen uh, in the last uh, slide and other are the cardinal signs what are the cardinal signs the cardinal signs the skin lesions that is um, with uh, leprosy contain white patches hmm? definite sensory loss with or without sensory loss okay. then skin smear and the skin biopsy see here images uh, of the clinical uh, sign symptoms of the patients and signs which are given here 